Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, you see all these DJI products in front of you, right? Osmo Pocket 1, and then you also have the DJI Mini 2. Now, if you're like me, who recently upgraded your phone from Android 11 to Android 12, it's not even that recent, a long time ago, you are probably just as frustrated as I am, and if not freaked out a little bit because the app from DJI stopped working completely. I'm talking about the DJI Go For app. I'm talking about the DJI Fly app, which powers this guy here. And without that Fly app, you can't really fly. And also the DJI Mimo app to power this guy, the Osmo Pocket One. For example, this is the DJI Go For app that you can find online um, on the App Store right now. I just downloaded it, but if you hit open, this is exactly what it does. It says DJI Go For close because the app has a bug. Try updating this app after the developer provides a fix for this error. Unfortunately, they never provided the fix directly on the App Store. So let me show you again. You hit open, nothing happens. It wants to load, it just fails. So we're gonna start off with the DJI Fly app first, okay? And then we're gonna deal with the DJI Mimo app for this guy. So here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is you're gonna uninstall all those apps that used to work but no longer work. Moving on, we are going to go onto DJI's website. I can include the link uh, in the description below for you, but the best thing I would suggest is you just Google it. DJI Fly app, okay. All right, and the first selection, let me turn down screen brightness a little bit. So I don't blind you guys. All right, so the first selection you see is, is the one that is hosted by DJI.com. You don't want anything else. You wanna make sure you're using from the DJI's website. Don't use any redirect. You click on the link and make sure that, yo, go away. Make sure that it is from DJI's website before you even download anything. Because if you're going around the App Store, there is an inherent risk that you're taking uh, with viruses and things like that. So only download it if you truly have to from a trusted developer. In this case, I'm downloading it from DJI's website because I have no other choice. And then you're gonna download the Android APK. You click on that. It's gonna warn you. It's gonna say file might be harmful, da 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 da. Yes, you're gonna download anyway. Back onto my Galaxy Fold 3. So under downloads, we're gonna fly, find the DJI Fly app. Okay. Perfect. Hit open. Let's hope everything works. Now we're gonna do all these agreements and stuff. I'm gonna set all and while using the app. I'm gonna hit allow. And then you're gonna hit yes. Of course, like if you're ever you have read through all this, you know, very carefully, but in honest opinion, most people are just gonna skip past it. Now we're gonna make sure everything, I'm gonna set all this. And then now we're gonna make sure that this thing actually works. I'm gonna go through the connection guide. I kind of want the DJI FPV, I really kind of do. So that might be my next toy. All right, here we go. Let's just get the ball rolling. Just turn on the RC controller, so it should be detecting now. Always open DJI Fly app when the DJI RC N1, which is the controller, is connected. So we're gonna hit OK. All right, so I think it is actually working, like right now. So this is the camera view. All right, you guys see this? Connection is pretty fast. Rico GR3, there you go. It is finally working. All right, for the sake of time, on my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I've already downloaded the DJI Mimo app. So we are going to get this going right away. There are two ways to install this. So first way is you can go directly from the browser. The other way is you can go under My Files and then you can look for the file that you just downloaded, which is this guy right here for the Mimo, and you're gonna click on that. It's gonna say, oh, you can't really install it, you're not allowed. So what you're gonna do is you're going under settings and you're gonna give it permission, allow from this source under my files. All right, so now this pops up automatically and you're gonna hit install. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna open it up and hopefully this thing works. Agree, 
agree, loading resource file. Okay, allow, okay. While using the app only. All right, cool. So now let's go and see if we can connect this to my DJI Osmo Pocket 1. Let me turn this guy on. Sweet, okay, let's go and connect. All right, here on this side, I'm gonna hit accept. Cool beans, man. All right, it is working. Okay, I guess I have to go sideways. So let's take a look. All right, go over there. Thank you. All right, I don't need tutorial. I've used this thing two million times. All right, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I got it, I got it, okay. The main thing I wanna see is the stability of the app. So it seems to be holding up right now. All right, we're gonna open up this file. I'm gonna take a look at my time lapse. I'll just show you guys. No rest preview, that's fine. This was shot in Park MGM, by the way. This was shot at the win. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, anyway, so we now know that the DJI Mimo app actually works. Pretty stoked. Okay, so yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find this helpful. If you do, please thumbs up, like the video, and also please comment and let me know what you guys wanna see next. Last but not least, subscribe to my channel. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Yeah, so let's make this into a community and I would love to chat with you guys more. Let me know what you guys think. Talk soon. Have a good one. Later.